this video I am going to show you how to create groups. And groups are custom containers for standards that generally relate to the subjects that are taught at your school. Now, how you are going to do this, your classes tab is over here on the left hand side. So once you click on that, you're going to see that it takes you to the main screen, but you want to be in the standards. So you're going to click on the standards and that will take you to the screen where it shows the standards group, but we haven't added anything yet. So what you want to do is there's a little gear icon to the right of that drop down menu that you want to click on. And from here, you're going to add the new group. So you click add new and here you would type the title that would be associated to the class. And I'll just go ahead and type, um, we'll use math one as an example. And once you type that, click save and that's going to add it down here in your groups. You can see that's been added to that now. And then from here is where you're going to want to add the standards to that group. So you would click on it and over here on the right hand side you're going to see a list of available standards. Now these are the standards that I showed in the last video how to add those. So this is where they would show up. So for this math class, um, let's just go ahead and use geometry. We want to add geometry. You can type in and search so you don't have to scroll through the whole entire list. So we're going to go ahead and pick uh, geometry for first and click add. And then let's say we wanted to add measurements and data. So if we type in measure, that'll bring up measurements and data. Again, you want to choose the specific one for that class or group. And let's just go ahead and add a third one. Let's say we wanted to put in numbers. So number and operations. So we can go ahead and add the one that we want. And then it adds it actually into your list over here. So it's showing the standards that you have for your math one group. It automatically saves it. So there's no save button that you need to, to click or enter on. If you have several standards that you will be adding into your group that are consecutive, you can just place your cursor on it and then just drag down if they're in order. The other option that you can choose if they are not in order is by clicking on the first one that you want to choose. And if you're using a Mac, you would hit the command key and just hold that down and then click on the other ones that you're looking to add and click add. And that would place those over in your group on the left hand side. Now, if you're using Windows, then it would be to uh, hold down the control key and do the exact same procedure where you're going to click on the standards that you want if they're not in consecutive order. Otherwise, like I said, you can just choose the standard and if they're in order, just drag your mouse down and click add. Also from this screen, custom standards can be, can be manually entered if needed. And how you would do that is up at the top, you've got the two buttons. We're currently on the standards groups area uh, to do the custom, you would click on the configure new standards button. And here on the left, you'll see all the fields that we need to be filled in. And these are custom to your school. So whatever information you want to add here is custom to, to you, to your school. So as an example, let's go ahead and add the information. So let's say we would name our ID uh, 948, the grade level let's say is 6, the subject would be English, the category let's say we'll name it retention, subcategory you can name it something different or you can keep it the same. And then in the standard text box this is where you're going to write the detailed explanation of the standard. So that can be um, as detailed as you need it. And then once you enter all the information, you'll go ahead down here at the bottom, you will click add. 
So now you'll see on your list down at the bottom and you can go ahead and, and choose to put that into one of your groups.